Did you know that at this moment, over 370 million people suffer from depression or anxiety? That means more people than the whole population of the United States and Canada combined. If you ever saw someone you love go through a depression, like I have, you know how devastating it is. But the message that the problem lies in your brain or in your genes is rather depressing in itself. It feels powerless. Of course, some people are more likely to get depressed than others. But I want to understand what we can do to help. I'm Gabi and in my PhD, I develop new scientific models of mental health. We use data science to help us understand how a depression develops and what we can do to stop this. So suppose that someone loses their job. Some people can brush it off and start looking for something new, but other people get really worried. They start to sleep bad, they get irritable, they fight with their partner because they feel guilty. They feel worthless. They get stuck in a negative cycle. They get depressed. This example shows that we need to look at everyday behaviors and situations to understand how people get depressed. Psychologists know this. They look at mental health as a whole system of all the elements in someone's life. For example, your personality, your circle of friends and family, your economic stability. All these elements together decide how you respond to problems. Some combination of elements may push you in a negative spiral, such as the example with losing your job. But other combinations may help you to bounce back from these problems, which is called resilience. Resilience is something that you can learn and develop. For example, calling a friend after you receive bad news, instead of staying in bed, worrying and feeling lonely. I develop new models that represent this whole system of mental health. We build these models using real data from many people. And then we throw problems at these models. And in this way, we can simulate how people would react. And with these simulations, we can really pinpoint what combinations of elements play a bigger role in a negative reaction, but also what interventions can lead to a more resilient reaction. And these models take us one step closer to what we can do to improve mental health. So if you know someone who is struggling, maybe give them a call. The little things can mean a lot. Thank you for your attention.